Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with a planner video. <laughs> I haven't done a planner video on this channel in a while because last year, 2020, was just not the year, okay? It's just not the year. And even the planner that I bought, I ended up not loving and therefore not using. And it was a very stressful time to be a planner. So this year, 2021, I found a planner I love. I've put it together. Um, I am definitely a Franken planner, as the happy planner people say, where I don't necessarily like to just buy a planner off the shelf and use it. I like to add things. I like to change things. Probably not as much as some people, but enough that I thought I would show you exactly how I've set up my planner for the year. This is my current planner that I, I will set up with you in this video. You can see it is already chunky, so this is after, after being set up. You will notice that it is not an official happy planner, and that is because it was an official happy planner, but I didn't like the cover, so um, I added this one that was technically a notebook cover, but I liked it better. So if you guys wanna see exactly what I put in here, how exactly I set up my planner to hold everything I need for my business, stay tuned and we're gonna get started. Bye y'all. Here's all my planners for this year. So as you can see, I have three. I'm not using all three. I just got these two in the mail, right, right here. And this one I will use, let's take these out, as my daily kind of journal. I like to journal just every day kind of what's going on and I like to do that in a big planner because it gives me more room for writing. This is my absolute favorite planner of the year with that rose gold. I am probably going to replace these discs with metal ones, but this planner, good to go, love it. I wish I had bought it when it come, came out, but I didn't. Luckily, I was able to get it on Facebook in a happy planner group. So that left my everyday planner, and that's what we're going to be working on today. So if I had bought them when they came out, I would have probably bought this one and the classic planner that goes with it, which is this exact same cover, but I didn't. And so instead I picked up this planner. It is the exact same planner as this, but with this gold cover. Gold is not my thing. So what I'm doing is going to take this, which I've already put together. And this was just the notebook that matches this collection. So you can see it coordinates. It's really pretty. It's not as pretty as all those little dots, but it coordinates. And as much as I love this cover, I don't think I would have wanted to have both of my planners be identical. So I like that they coordinate this way. So I've already done a little bit of work on this while I was waiting for this one to arrive. So, so far I'll show you what I have in here. This is the notebook. I've added the large rose gold metal expander discs because I'm going to keep quite a few things in here this year. Have some sticky notes. And then this is what came at the front of the coordinating notebook which is this sheet that says, this is my one and only amazing, precious wild life. Sorry, apparently I have the hiccups. It has a focus or goal kind of mantra page. It has a three part goal page. And I do like this because I use this planner for my whole life, but mainly for my blog business. And so I can write out my goals. I typically try to have four main goals for a year. Um, that way I can have quarterly projects. I'll launch three projects and then have a fourth quarter for kind of a break quarter where I don't do a huge project. So that'll work. I'll have the three quarters that I will do and the fourth one will be my break. Then on the back of that is my bucket list. 
after 2020 being what it was, I don't know that I'm going to bother with a bucket list this year because I don't want to put any expectations on it. But, uh, but I may write out some of the big things. We'll see. So then this planner was supposed to come to me in three days and I would have had it for the beginning of the month. Instead, it's taken almost two weeks. So instead, I went back to some old planners that I have that I hadn't used all of. And luckily, June of 2018 is the exact same layout as January 2021. So I will move this over to January, but all this is is planning out January. Pretend this is January 2021. And I did my month and a few weeks from that planner because um, I need I need some planning in my life guys and all I did was cover up those parts that said June on the weekly parts because I couldn't handle that every day but the lines the lines the days lined up and I can ignore this part for the month because I only use it occasionally so all of this will get moved over fact let's go ahead and take it out now because it is the one thing I know is not staying in this spot so this is why I like happy planners I can just change it however I want it as a controlling person who needs to plan everything out that is helpful to me all right and then I have a few of these pages I just stuck them in here the get social pages plan of attack I've used these off and on for years for social media strategies and projects, so I just put a few of them in here in case I want to use them for a week. And then I have this tab. Now this tab is, I'm trying to remember exactly what pack this is from. This is from this pack. Okay, so I bought the priority pack and it has all of these day by day sheets that say priorities, one, two, three, reminders, today, and then two kind of spots. I like to have daily kind of checklists when I'm doing like a big work day. As you can see, I've already used quite a few of them. And so I put this one in with a few of those now, if you buy this pack, it comes with these pages and a few dividers. I didn't use all of the dividers. Just a second. Sorry guys, apparently there's a bunny in my backyard and my dogs love it. So this pack comes with a few different dividers. I don't need three dividers of this, so I just went ahead and put all of them in one tab. So then this little tab comes from the original dun, 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 Stay Wild notebook. And behind that, I put the paper that comes with those dividers, which is a really cute cheetah print. I don't use lined paper as much, but I do use it. So I like to keep some of that in here. Probably won't keep this much. <laughs> And then the third divider here, and I may take this one out, came from that same priorities pack. And behind it is some dotted paper. And as you can see, I do use this to make checklists for larger projects that I like to check each and every like piece off. Helps me keep organized. So these are a bunch of videos I need to edit. I lay that out. Okay, so then the last thing I have in here is the Homemakers Pack for 2021. It has this really pretty rose gold foil and it has, so chore sheets. It has enough for six months. I'm not sure that I'll use these. If I do use them, I wish they would have had 12 months worth because it's not that many sheets. They could have easily doubled this up and given me six sheets. But if I like it, I'll either make some more or get some more meal plans. I do like these, but I will not use these every week. I will only use them occasional weeks when I'm actually 
need to plan out like a whole week with a grocery list. So I kept a few of these. I did pare down, so like they have given me way more sheets and I'd taken all the sheets that I thought I would use, put some in here and I put the rest aside. That way I can determine what I'm gonna use and what I'm not gonna use. Then there's a budget worksheet and I, I like this and I hate this because I need to keep a budget. I keep one on my computer. I prefer a written one, but I don't need all of these categories. And then there are categories that I do need that aren't on here. So it's just not personalized. It's a generic budget. I mean, that is what it is. So we'll see if I end up using this or if I take this out. And this, this is why I bought the whole home care pack was for this project tab. I love it. It's beautiful. And the way they have this laid out with inspiration, resources, sketches, ideas, supplies on hand, supplies I need to purchase, cost and details. This is almost exactly how I lay out big projects for my blog. So um, this is all the sheets they gave me for that section. And that's the one section I wanted. So I need more of these if anybody wants to send them to me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to merge these note sheets, the homemakers pack, the priority pack, and my actual planner for the year. So what I'm thinking is because January starts two spots down, I think I'm going to start it up here. So, I do like these and I do want to keep them at the front of my notebook. It's okay for me if the homemakers pack is at the back. I'm not 100% sold that I need the lined paper in here. I may take that out. But for now, we're going to leave it until I decide how I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to start moving things over. Here's January. And I move things over a month at a time. Gives you enough days that they clip in pretty easily, but not too many that they're hard to clip in. Perfect, January. And sometimes I'll move it with the divider, so let's try it and see if that works okay. I think it will. Not quite as easy to clip in as just the pages, but it does save a trip. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this because y'all don't need to watch me do every single month. I will flip through the dividers for you guys though. So that leaves July, which stinks. I love this. August, love that. September, 
October. Not a fan of that one. Ooh, I like November and December left in this planner. I don't know why I always want 18 month planners, but I always plan a whole year here, 12 months. So I never need these months, but I never like the 12 month planners. So, oh, well, I just end up wasting those months every year. So I will keep those. You never know when you might need an old month to plan with. Um, and I may sell the cover and discs because I will never use those. But what that leaves me with is a giant planner for this year. Oh, I love how that looks. That's so chunky. I love a good chunky planner. So the problem with a good chunky planner is that this is pretty much at max for how much these rings can hold. And since I do plan with stickers, every time I plan with stickers, these pages get just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger until at the end of the year, the whole planner is much thicker. So I will probably have to take things out as I go or they just won't fit. So that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out. I might have to take it out in chunks because I think I would rather have the um, dotted lines and that way you'll be able to actually see even number of tags. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of this divider, so. There we go, that leaves me with my two front note sections and then January and a perfect line. Love that. So now my entire planner, I have this front goal section for the blog. I do have my daily priorities pages to plan on here for projects, my months, I'll just give you a quick flip through. So there's January, February, March, April, May, always be the lady lady or of your own life. Audrey Hepburn. I like that. I love all the quotes in this. June, July, August. I just love how some of these are hearts. That's the cutest cheetah print. September, October, November, December. And then we start over with chores, meal plans, budget, and projects. So technically, what I'm going to do here is add this back in. So that'll be the next tab down. Oh, there's a bit of paper right here. That's the perfect spot. So that's the last page there. So I guess I don't even really need the tab, but the tab makes it so much easier to grab. So there's my last tab and I'm going to add right here the paper. Because I will plan with the dotted paper I'll make spreadsheets and those I'll refer to over and over and over again usually for a month or two whereas you can see here I just mainly make lists on this kind of paper that are then thrown away so I don't necessarily need to keep them up front I'll just flip back here to get a piece of paper when I need it and then throw it away when I'm done paper, chores, meal plans, budget, and projects. So the only thing left to decide is these all move. Really like this as a dashboard, but I usually keep 
this main dashboard up front. And I do like these. Okay, here's your main year at a date. Your kind of month at a glance, the whole month. I do like those. And then there's this guy. So I think I'm gonna move this section Is bent. I love that. I'm gonna make artwork out of this, use it for something, use it for a project. I think I'm gonna move this, but I'm going to move it back here. Yeah. So it's still at the front, but it's not the main front. And I make loose something over that. Maybe one of these pretty dashboards. Sorry, I got excited. I don't love that. All right, so then I will go in. I will probably transfer all my sticky notes that I've already done here. I'll just move them. And then this week will stay blank. Or not this week. Oh, it's not there. Nice. Okay, so like right here, there's a week that I guess they included at the end of June, but they didn't include it in January. So that goes away, which makes me happy. And I'm going to transfer these in right here instead of these, because I've already used stickers on these and I don't want to peel them up. So what I will probably do is just take a glue stick and literally glue that in. Remove this guy because he is a hundred percent used. Dun to dun, dun to dun, same, same guy. Perfect. And then I will glue these two together. That way they flip together. And then I will start with the new planner here. And maybe that's not how everybody does it. That's how I'm doing it. Since it's my planner, my way wins. Bah, ha, ha. All right, y'all. I hope you liked my entire 2021 setup. I know it is probably more than most people need, um, but since I do work from home, I work for myself. I keep a lot of plans together. <laughs> I also have a couple just notebooks that I use, but this is the main planner. This is the beef of it. And as you can see, these are all my projects for January. And so with this many projects, I have to keep on top of what day I'm doing my projects, what day I'm writing the posts, what day I'm editing the video. And that's just for the projects. This doesn't keep in track of my social media or email list or anything else that I do for the blog. So I hope you guys liked it. I know I did. I do have one more thing coming for this planner that you guys will not see, but it is literally a set of three dashboards and I will probably keep one right here on my daily sheets. I will keep one on my actual week that I'm using. And then I will probably keep one in the back for whatever section I'm using. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned because as, as we get started, now that I've actually got my planner here, I will be going back to doing weekly plan with me videos where I actually lay out the stickers and show you guys how I do my weekly spreads. And I'm really excited because I've been in a planning funk for a while and haven't been doing that. So cannot wait to get back into it. I'll see y'all later. Bye.